Now our next movie is one that's been a big hit with teenage fans. Of course, it's the vampire romance Twilight. Now the movie sequel, New Moon, is already in the works, but it's not without controversy. Daily Zone Twi Hard Naibe Renoso is back with the story. Yep, can't get enough, Jill. The production for New Moon already has plenty of plot twists, including the hiring and firing of some of the key people involved in Twilight. And this has the real diehard Twi fans expressing some pretty strong opinions in this story you'll see only on dailies. Earning almost 70 million in its opening weekend, Twilight was a box office success. A few days later, Summit Entertainment announced they would make the sequel, New Moon. Online fan reaction was immediate. New Moon will be made. Let's all just fangirl scream together. But after learning director Katherine Hardwick would be replaced by Chris Weitz, whose most recent work includes The Golden Compass, for some, The Honeymoon was over. On TwilightGuide.com, Rosalie wrote, I will miss Katherine Hardwick dearly. And if he screws up the movie, then he will have a legion of teenage girls and possibly Twilight moms that will want to bite his neck. I've heard some of the criticism. The effects weren't great. She's not a fantasy director. You know, I think that, you know, if you go back and you look at her debut feature, which was 13, it was about teen angst. It was about what it's like to be a teenager. And I think that's more important to the Twilight franchise than the fantasy aspects of Soon after, speculation arose that Taylor Lautner, who plays Jacob, would be replaced because the second book requires a taller, more physically wow. mature Jacob. Actor Michael Copon, seen here, was rumored to take on the role. Members of Team Jacob came to his defense. On our own ReelsChannel.com New Moon comment page, Taylor is the best wrote, OMG, they better not replace Taylor Lautner, he's the best Jacob they could find. A Facebook page was created named People Against Michael Copan for trying to replace Taylor Lautner, which contains comments like Marissa's. Team Taylor Jacob. Taylor is Jacob. Nobody can replace him. But with or without Lautner, the studio is hoping for even bigger box office numbers on New Moon. In fact, I think there'll be a quantum leap in terms of budget and, in, as a result, effects. So, I, I mean, I think that's what will broaden the franchise, will satisfy the core fans, and will also get some additional people in, do in the door spending more money on those effects. Production on New Moon starts in just a few weeks and it's set to open in November. 